Hi everyone and happy holidays. Welcome back to HowStuffInMyCarWorks.com and for those of you who don't know me, hi, I'm Jojo and today I will be talking about liquid propane electronic fuel injection. So this was created by a company called Biphase. I'm going to kind of explain how this works. So basically how this works is imagine you are going to the gas station, you're about to pump your gas, except your entire gas tank has been thrown away and replaced with this propane tank. So instead, you have a hose that's hooked up to your gas, where your gas tank used to be, and now you're able to fill your tank with propane. So basically, this is the fill fitting, which has the integral check valve, which is right here. So inside your propane tank, like I showed you, you have your pump and filter, which is down here, and then you have a hose that's going to pump that propane to your fuel injectors, which are right over here, these eight little nodule things. And basically, this hose has two linings. So the inner hose pumps the propane to those fuel injectors, and then the bigger hose outside is going to use the excess propane that doesn't go to the fuel injectors to kind of filter back down, back into your propane tank so you're not wasting, and I mean it has to go somewhere so it's going back there. From here, your propane is injected into your cylinders. This whole thing is the LPDM, which stands for all of this that I'm going to explain. Liquid Propane Delivery Module. And what it does, well, what it has actually, is two solenoid valves. And what it allows the propane to do, it pumps it to the fuel injectors. And also, once you turn your engine off, close your car, walk away, it allows the pressure to go back into your tank. So now that we know how the fuel injectors work, I'm going to explain a little bit more about them. So, something to remember, I don't know if you can read this, so I'm just going to read it to you. The fuel injectors for this system have been designed to accept wide variations in fuel pressure because this system is not equipped with a fuel pressure regulator. So most cars have a regulator, like basically every car. This is different, and Bad Phase is a genius for creating this whole system because the fuel injectors act as that regulator. Are you following? I hope so because I know you can't talk back. Comment below. Okay. So the pressure in your propane tank is going to change with the temperature. So imagine you're at zero degrees Fahrenheit. Your output is going to be 25 psi. So if it's at 90 degrees, it's automatically going to be 150 psi. And that's the tank pressure. So this particular system is utilizing a pump that produces 35 PSI of pressure. So if you add already at zero degrees plus the 35 that it already exists within the pressure of the pump, you're going to get an output of 60 PSI. So if you're at 90 degrees with output pressure, you're going to get 185, adding the original 150 to the 35 that the pump already has. Okay guys, thank you so much for visiting our channel again and watching me try to explain how liquid propane electronic fuel injections work. And uh, well, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Comment, like, share, do what you have to do. Thank you again, have a happy holiday and a happy new year.